All right, this is first grade, module two, lesson seven. And in this lesson, students are gonna continue making 10 because that's a nice, friendly, landmark number. Only this time, they're gonna be doing it when the add end is eight, rather than the previous lessons where the add end was nine. And this adds a little bit of complexity because eight is a little bit further away from that friendly number than nine was. And so we're gonna be using, I'm gonna modify the lesson a little bit by incorporating 10 frames so that students really have that visual representation so that they can have a better chance at seeing how eight relates to the friendly number of 10. Let's get started. Okay, so it says draw, label, and circle to show how you made 10 to help you solve and then write the number sentences that you use to solve the question, right? Now, what they've got over here, Eureka is demonstrating by just drawing these pictures, right? These little circles, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I'm going to say, I, I think our first graders might want and appreciate a little bit of extra scaffolding, in which case I would use a 10 frame, a couple of 10 frames, and I would say, all right, well, let's represent um, the problem using 10 frames. So we have eight toy animals, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And remember, teachers, we want students to fill out the whole row before moving to the next one. And then we have four toy cars. So we've got one, two, three, four. So now we have um, the, the problem modeled. We've got eight toy animals. We've got four toy, four toy cars. And now we want to figure out how many toys does Meg have in all. And so the question starts with eight plus four. But we want students to see that if they took these and moved these over here, we now have the same number of dots, because all we did was move a set of dots. But we now have 10 plus 2. And 10 plus 2 is 12, because we know our 10 plus facts. Well, that means 8 plus 4 is 12. So Meg gets 12 toys. So you can see the idea is, yes, this is a fine picture, as shown in Eureka Math. But I kind of like the idea of um, 10 frames, just to kind of get students to understand how these numbers are related, this 8 plus 4 and how it's related to 10 plus 2. So here we've got May. May has a party and she invites seven girls, eight boys. How many friends does she invite in all? So before I model this, I'm going to bring in some 10 frames because that's kind of how I've been modifying this lesson a little bit. And I want to model it using those 10 frames. So she, uh, let's see right here, she invites seven girls. So let's model seven girls. And I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've modeled seven girls and now we're going to model eight boys. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And uh, so we've modeled the questions, seven girls, eight boys. And we can record that. Let's see, get a little thinner pen right here. And we can model that. So that's, or record that. That's seven plus eight. And what we want students to see is this eight is really close to ten. So all we have to do is take these two from the seven girls and put it over here into this 10 frame, and we now have a new expression, which is 5 plus 10. We have 5 plus 10. And 5 plus 10, boy, we know that. That's 15, so that means 7 plus 8 is 15, and that means May invites 15 friends. So parents and teachers, you can see how I'm modifying. I'm taking the problem, but I'm modeling it and woo, I am modeling it inside 10 frames because I just think it makes it a little bit more visual as to if we have 8 here, why do we need 2 before we get to 10? And it kind of lowers the cognitive load a little bit and makes it more accessible to more students. And so that wraps up a quick one of Grade 1, Module 2, Lesson 7. We're still making 10. But now we're starting with 8 as our add-in.